Um, the big job I'm doing, you can probably tell from all the stuff stripped out from the inside of the boat, is to take out the old headlining material. And this is the big surprise if we go inside. Look at that. So the old headliner was uh, just hanging off the roof and um, behind it was all the, all the sponge, uh, the foam that was on the back of the headliner had kind of decayed into powder and wasn't holding together and it certainly wasn't sticking the headliner to the boat anymore. So I had it held up with some tape and it just peeled away so easily but the left behind um, a layer of this grey, uh, grey black powdery foam. It, it's been a bit of a nightmare to get it off, not too bad and the thing I can recommend to you is one of these tools. This is a I don't know what you'd call this, it's, uh, it's just called a multi-tool by the label, but what it is is a vibrating, uh, this, this vibrates back and forth rapidly, and that's just a sort of chisel uh, piece, and that means that it's just basically doing this really, sort of like a vibrating scraper. And what I found is that if you just run that, like that, it's, it's like shearing a sheep. It just stripped it really quite neatly and got nearly all of it off without damaging the um, underlying um, the fiberglass. And occasionally I'd scratch it but nearly always just came off and got nearly all of it off. So a lot of this surface is just the result of me doing that, like running this over. And it was quite quick, it was like, you know, it's still quite a lot of boat to cover but so it took a while. Um, and then to get the residue off, um, wire brush, this wire brush, which is actually a griddle cleaner from a garden centre, is really good and you can grab hold of that, scrub away and that got all the rest, it's got the rest off. Um, and that's cleaned up pretty well, there's little bits like this left behind. In some places, maybe you can see here, the glue has, has stayed gluey and it's you can see you can sort of peel it with your fingers but it's, it won't you can't brush it off um, and what I'm going to do on those little patches is apply some I found some paint thinner um, thin that got rid of the glue so I've got to go around and just dab paint thinner on some of the patches where the glue hasn't gone away and um, to get that off. The headliner is uh, trapped and bolted behind these window fittings now the window fittings they probably undo if I undo the screws on the outside but I'm reluctant since they don't leak at the moment to fiddle with these and take them off um, as again it's I, I'm in a hurry to get the boat in the water and I don't want to start dismantling things that work all right at the moment so I've just cut around the edge with a with a, a Stanley knife so there's a bit of headlining trapped around the edge but what the next job will be uh, later on is to dismantle the windows, which do need some maintenance. You see the seal has shrunk on this window. It, despite that, it doesn't leak. Um, so at the moment it's all right, but it, it will need fixing up. But I also got to think about whether I'm going to have, um, I, I, uh, Bill Churchhouse on his boat has uh, um, boards that he can bolt over the top of his windows in case of breakage. And uh, I'm interested in that. So uh, this, this may all change anyway. I haven't worked out what to do exactly. These blocks, so if you've got a coromandel or a coroby and you're interested in what's behind your headliner, if you've never seen it, behind there's these blocks which have been, there's resin filler and uh, glued on here like this. These blocks have, these were holding the curtains and the ones down here, these were holding the netting. There's some netting pockets um, and there's several of those around the boat and there's at the front there, two of which have fallen off. So these were to allow screwing in of various fixtures in the boat. One of the things I found behind the, behind this side in particular was that the bottom part was mouldy. There was a seal here formed by the headlining being stuck to the boat, but behind here was, was mouldy and I suspect that there was condensation and a, maybe a little bit of water getting behind here and it just sat at the bottom and, and, and caused moles and stuff. Uh, my plan right now is not to put foam up this year, but just to paint the interior, just to make it more cleanable uh, and sort of more pleasant. And uh, I was recommended this. This was recommended to me. This is just a uh, hot paint. 
and that's a that's an interior and exterior lock paint so it ought to do a good job and I've done a little trial over here that's the first that's only the first coat with 50% thinners just to see what it was like to paint with and a little bit here as well just to show that I think with with the with the with three coats it'll end up with a kind of nice white glossy finish um, of course the grain of the of the uh, fiber is still going to show through so it's not going to be like smooth gel coat or anything but it'd make a more pleasant interior perhaps.